Hello, this is Mr. Doty, and uh, I'm coming to you with this little video on how to get your free Autodesk software. And basically, um, you know, if you're online or in person, doesn't matter. If you're a student here with uh, the CAD department, uh, Elizabethtown Community Technical College, uh, I can help you to get some software, and it's free. And that's cool, and it and it's a three-year war a three-year warranty, a three-year uh, subscription basically. Um, the license is good for three years, and while you're a student, and see I've I've got my graduation up as you know twenty whatever, two thousand and whatever. Um, you know I don't know that you can't go in and keep extending it, and extending it. The thing is, it is. Um, education software therefore you can't use it to make you know money and stuff you know it is not for commercial use so but while you're in school it's free you use it do the things you need to do and you're good to go so let's go on now how do you get there so uh, the link that I gave you or that's listed in the uh, startup instructions in most of the classes uh, is set up as students.autodesk.com and if you use that uh, for a search or if you put it in the address it's going to come up with hopefully something that says Autodesk Student Community and, uh, no, and it says Autodesk.com Education Home well that's the site that you want now I don't know how good you are with computers but something that is really handy it would be to um, bookmark this site now I already have mine up here little bookmark favorites because I have this toolbar turned on I'm using um, Firefox you could use Google Chrome it has the same thing now in Firefox if you right click up here over where these tabs are you know I've got a bunch of stuff up um, if you have the bookmark toolbar checked um, I believe it does the same thing in uh, Internet Explorer I don't know about Edge I haven't used it much, um, but I do know in Firefox it works like this. Uh, in Google Chrome, you can turn them on too. I don't remember exactly how to do that. Um, we can do a video on how to do that, or hey, actually, you could probably look on YouTube and find that one out yourself. So anyway, so bottom line is turn on this uh, favorites toolbar, and all you have to do is grab this little button right here, this little you know thing on any any website doesn't matter what it is and you can drag it down here and you can stick it in and create a shortcut well, I'm not going to since I've already got it but you just pick it with your left button drag it down here and then there it is so and then you can you know of course you can put it wherever you want up there that's fine all right moving along so you get here to this site now why did I have you bookmark it because what's going to happen is is you're going to go create this um, account and look when I go here to sign in it's like ooh, Autodesk accounts A360 education community well I'm going to collect select education community even though I'll probably when I get done setting up this account uh, it'll probably end up over here okay so education community I'm going to click on that and uh, that's my username go figure uh, but I need to create a, a new account so I'm gonna hit create account um, pick my country and they didn't set it up to where ours is at the top like they should have but that's okay education role you or most of you will pick student um, I'm actually setting this up for another instructor so I'm just gonna pick educator and uh, click on here so I'm going to set up uh, set up this account. I'm going to put in the name like supposed to uh, zero five and at the thing here is you have to use your school email address. It will not work otherwise. Okay. Now make sure you spelled it correctly. And okay, and 
now we're going to create a password. Notice it has to be at least one letter, at least one number, minimum of eight characters, and three unique characters. Okay. What can we make a password for? Hmm. You know, actually, I forgot to capitalize it. Okay, so I created my password. Now it asks me, do you want to agree? Yes, you want to agree. Then what do you do? I am going to create an account. And don't want that. Okay, this is what you're going to get, a verification email. It sends it to that email address, and then we have to go and get that. So I'm going to pause the video while I go get the email and figure out how to make it work. Okay, I have my email now, uh, my verification email. So uh, you go to your email account, uh, your school email, on your webmail, check it, and um, now here's something that may happen. It may send it over to the clutter folder. Uh, that is a possibility. I had a student I uh, talked with uh, earlier today, actually, and uh, that was where it kept sending them. So. Anyway, check that. Make sure it shows up uh, before you, you know, get all excited and oh, it didn't work. Uh, then, uh, since he forwarded this to me, um, this should be a link. It doesn't. I don't think it's going to work. But this right here, um, anyway, is. And guess what? Now it pulled up something else. So now it says, hey, you need to sign in. I apologize for the size of the screen, but you get the idea. So it pops up, and uh, and it should be, if I spelled everything right, um, username, and then obviously, We put in our password, and hey, check it out. It says there, account verify. I would like to receive email communication. Now, this is up to you. Uh, I'll be nice to him, and I won't. I won't do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna hit done, and now it's gonna say, all right, yeah, one more step. Um, name of educational institution. Oops. There we go. So you should just have to uh, put that much in. Pick this. All right. Department. Just put CAD. And then you pick what area that you are in. This one says I teach, but yours will be area that you do whatever. Um, I'm just going to pick this guy. Actually, I can pick all of them. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to pick these two for him. You pick whichever ones you want. It's fine. Um, and this is for your personal use, so we're going to pick on this. Uh, you won't get this option, surely. Um, but anyway, I'm going to do personal use only because that's really all he needs. And now it says your account's updated, access to Autodesk Education Community. And you hit continue. Now what happens here is... don't know what it's doing. Looks like it goofed up. Hmm. I'm going to refresh it just in case. Huh. Alright, well, I'm going to get rid of that and go back over here. So, this is why I said you needed to save that site. 
here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on free student software. I'm going to go back over here. Um, here's the funny thing. Even though I might sign in up here, and I will tell you this, if you use this link, it's going to send you somewhere else and you're wanting to be here. So um, you can sign in to educational community, but what's going to happen is when you go down here and let's say you wanted to download AutoCAD and it says, guess what? Sign in again. So you know what? We'll just go ahead and sign in. Now this time, guess what I'm going to do? We'll sign in for Mr. Anderson. We'll, I guess I saved his password, so we're going to sign in. Apparently, I didn't put in his password. I did this time. Here we go. Um, I guess I remember it. Okay, so now I've signed in. It says, what do I want to do now? All right, I want to download. And now it says, well, what version do you want? All right, what version do I want? Um, now, here's the thing. We're sitting on 2016 or 17 right now. I mean, the book is 2016. We're up to 2017. Um, you pick whatever year that you would like to use. And um, if you want to pick the latest, greatest, that's fine. And, you know, when whenever, uh, if I use this video for a while, you know, it may be up to 2020 or 22 or something, whatever it is. You pick the latest one or the next latest one and the book should reflect something pretty close. Um, as far as AutoCAD goes and most of the software, they don't change a ton, so it doesn't really matter. So anyway, I'm going to pick that. Here's the thing. Most of your newer computers are 64-bit. Now, if you have an older computer, then you need to double check. And when I say older, it could be two years old and still be, you know, that would be an older computer. So what you need to do is you need to check for that. And how do you do that? Well, it depends on the system you have. But if you go to the system page of your computer, um, if you are on Windows 7 and you pick on your startup, which part of it's going to show up here, if you right click on computer and go to properties, it's going to pull up the systems page, which is this guy right here. You see how it's got the information on my computer? Okay and it said that mine is 64 bit that's how you know if it's 32 or 64 um, you know if you really want to mess with yourself you can download um, you know whichever one and then see if it works but I would try to figure it out um, you can also YouTube that in case you have a different operating system uh, Windows 10 if you right click on the start button down in the bottom left corner uh, you can get your systems page and uh, it may just say systems or it should just say system so anyway it'll tell you whether it's 64 or 32 you're probably 64 but the cool thing is is it doesn't really matter on uh, the only thing that matters is software your serial number will work for either one so in this case I'm going to download 64 bit for him or get him a serial number and then I have English obviously and now, guess what? It gave me a serial number. So um, this serial number will be generate will generate an email, and it'll send it to you. Now, don't use this serial number because this is only good for him, and you can only put it on two things. So don't use this one. Go get your own. All right. Uh, maybe I need to wipe that out, mark it out when I edit, but we'll see. Anyway, so now that I've done this, um, I'm actually good to go, except your next step would be to install now. Um, there's some options. If you pick on this little guy right here, you can do install now, download now, browser download, or help me decide. Um, if for some reason you cannot get this to work, 
uh, let your instructor know and we will mail you out some discs with the software on it uh, you still need to have your serial number up here okay and your product key and then you'll be able to install it uh, I'll do another video on installing the software too okay well that's really it for uh, getting your software and um, if you look back up here you click on the free software there are a bunch you got your product design suite which has all of these things you got your build design suite which has all these it doesn't have Revit in it so you have to do Revit by itself so just giving you a heads up um, these are the featured ones where you have Revit here um, so like if you were looking for Revit you click on Revit do the same thing now once you've signed in once you're good so then you just pick what you want you know 17 operating system 64 language English and then it's gonna give me a serial number so we're good to go alright so that is it and um, if you have any questions contact your instructor and we'll see what we can do to help you out have a good day